That's Kali. Ka she was on the ground. Okay. She that she was laying on the ground. She was laying on the ground. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what I call my ex, my ex name. That's that's her, Kali. She the one that designed. She was laying on the ground, right? He's supposed to be. That's yeah. God. Right, so God, he's supposed to always be like present, like he's dead, but he's still alive, and to to impregnate her and to. Uh, I'll tell you it. the story of Shiva. He he uh, man. So so Shiva was basically a god that came from down from the mountains to uh, like help the people like get through a time when like their culture was real confused and like going through like they was debating between like. There was a debate between like the sun people and the moon, moon people, basically. So she was representative of a god that's been around for a long time. So he, he keep appearing in what they call avatars. So the most uh, important avatars of Shiva that we know about is like when he come down, when he appear in the form of like a sage or a mystic or like somebody that don't adhere to convention. He's not religious. He don't he don't have no rituals. He is um, the god of both existence and non-existence, mm -hmm. the living and death. So those that worship death even will, will honor him. And Kali is the goddess that represents death herself. So you know all the killers they 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 fall up under her. So like everybody got their cult. So she was like the OG of the killers. But like there was a time when she was actually a, a warrior queen and she had a real army of hitters. Mm -hmm. And they they technique was. To the, and that's where the word thug come from. The word thug come from the thuggy cult of India, which was like, they was all like, you know, up under Kali. And they was taking out the, the British at first, but then they started taking out uh, wealthy Indian people and other people that was corrupt, um, basically doing hits for, mm -hmm. the, for the, uh, the righteous underworld. And they would pull up on you, they did it with no blood. They, would, had, they had a sheet, they would rap, they would, they would talk to you, they would game you, they would start, they would like talk you into comfort zone and while they talking to you, somebody else would come up behind you, wrap a sheet around your head and go like this and crack your shit. And it was the quickest killer, like they was literally like having competitions, taking out like crazy people in a year um, to where the thug cult got like an infamous name all across British India. The British created a campaign to wipe out the thugs, the thugs went into hiding. And it's been thug life ever since. Thug life. No, for real, I had I met up with some of them when I went back there. Mm. They still out there. Wow. They they're part of everything. They ain't go nowhere. If Mega did this. Mega did this.